fundraising is, is difficult for everyone, and especially female founders. Um, are there any tips to kind of overcome that and sort of, apart from using Alice, to sort of fast track the... Yeah, it's, look, I mean, it's intimidating when you walk into some, you know, Silicon Valley venture capitalist and you're sitting there, that's when I laugh because when we went, we pitched to, I mean, Sequoia and Anderson Horowitz, and we didn't even have a product at the time. We walk into these PCs and there's like Teslas all in the parking lot and, you know, there's like fancy cars and we like pull up and it's it's super intimidating just to walk in and you're sitting in the waiting room and waiting for these people and they walk in and you know they're on their phone if you don't matter and they're talking while you're pitching and it's an incredibly uncomfortable situation but the faster we realized we were like you know what like screw you like you're being kind of an asshole and when you start sort of calling people out and like actually when they're when they start to treat you like that turning the table and not being afraid to to call them out because we got to the point where we're like, you know what, like we respect ourselves and our company too much that we're actually going to be thoughtful about the types of investors that we want on board. And we shifted the script a little bit where we felt like we were interviewing them and it gave us such a different level of confidence going into those meetings and, and made us sell our company so much better that it was like everything changed at that point. And we still, you know, came into those meetings and we were on a call one time with a, an investor who kept cutting us off at every sentence. Like we'd start to say something. He's like, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're like, can you just give us a second? I mean, like get through like exactly what we do because you have no idea what we do. And, and so we still came across this, but we learned to just end that conversation. This wasn't going to be somebody that we, A, wanted on our team and B, would ever have any interest in joining our team. And so we, we cut our losses and didn't waste time. We found out where is our lane and who do we actually resonate with. Uh, and we have, as a result, the most amazing investors. I mean, you can't even say enough about the investors that we have on board.